It's really what is not being said openly. And what's not being said and what really radiates from between the lines of this petition is that, hey, Supreme Court, don't take this uh, because this case needs to be resolved slowly through the D.C. Court of Appeals on the normal path. And the real reason for that, and you see the petition there, the real reason for that is that the defense knows that delay in this case, perhaps more than any other case in the history of criminal prosecutions, delay works to the defendant's favor. And in fact, arguably, if delay lasts beyond the election and the inauguration, the federal cases, both of them, shall disappear. Either he'll appoint an attorney general to dismiss them or he'll try to pardon himself. But of course, the petitioner can't say that in the petition. So instead, the argument is, whoa, 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 stop the clock, slow down. This is such an important constitutional issue. It needs to be decided at a regular, uh, average, normal pace instead of this expedited pace. And they don't really say that's the reason why, but everybody knows that's the reason why. Let's talk, if we can, Vaughn, about what expediting this would mean to Jack Smith. Right. Jack Smith said that it is in the public interest of the American public to move this case along. March 4th is that target start date for that trial. We're expecting a trial to last about three months. July is the Republican National Convention, when the Republican Party will choose its nominee. Jack Smith is making the case to move this case along. We just got this filing I mean, minutes ago here before we went back to air, and I've made it to page 19 where the Trump team in their filing says, quote, importance does not automatically necessitate speed. If anything, the opposite is usually true. Novel, complex, sensitive, and historic issues, such as the existence of presidential immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts, call for more careful deliberation, not less. Hitting directly on uh, uh, on Danny's point, this for the Trump team is, uh, uh, is a motion, an effort to try to at least extend this beyond on March here, because this is all happening. March 5th, we were just earlier today talking about March 5th, the day of that Colorado primary, where there's the conversation with the Supreme Court, potentially removing him from the ballot altogether. That is Super Tuesday. Again, the politics meets the legal timeline here. And now we could hear within a matter of days whether the Supreme Court is going to take this up. If not, the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, they have oral arguments scheduled for January 9th. Accepting, Danny, that this is about timing, does that negate the argument that because of the nature of this, the unprecedented nature, careful deliberation would include going through the normal process? It's actually not a terrible legal argument, but it's so thinly veiled. You know that the ultimate purpose is, excuse me, the ultimate purpose for the defense is obviously delay. Delay is good for them. But they're making a legal argument that, hey, this should proceed through the normal uh, appellate process, and they argue that the government, the, J the Jack Smith team, has not made a decent showing for this exceptional uh, treatment to skip the D.C. Court of Appeals, and that's a legal argument to be made. It's just so patently obvious why they're making it, because they know that delay uh, really is a win, which normally delay works to the benefit of criminal defendants. In this case, delay is a victory. And so they just can't say that in the papers. They can't say, uh, hey, Supreme Court, uh, you know, let this case run its normal course because, hey, if our guy gets elected, he's just going to pardon himself or dismiss the charges through an attorney general he appoints. They can't openly say that. So instead, they're making the argument, uh, which has a legal basis, to slow everything down. Now, whether or not that legal basis is motivated by something totally different, well, that's probably okay as long as they have a good Rule 11 basis for making the motion. It's in good faith, or the petition, rather. Uh, but it's just interesting to see the argument for slowing the gears of justice down. I mean, most folks would want this to be resolved sooner rather than later. 